next one here is called Black Cherry Cordial. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection or new lines that I have come up on or mostly your suggestions. Uh, today's one is going to be, I, don't, I won't say that it's a, uh, it was something that was subscribed or suggested for me to talk about. It was where I, I had to have it. And I had to have it because if you're not following Lulu, you need to be following Lulu. And I'm gonna make sure to list her channel uh, below. But she talks so highly about this line that I had to get my hands on it. I had to, I had to smell it. And I went from not having any fragrances by this line to having six. And we're gonna talk about the six fragrances I have from Dreamhouse Akuro. The line is amazing and I cannot wait to talk about it. If you've never heard of me and this is your first time ever seeing me come across your page or your screen, I'm Claudia Nari. Welcome. Join me here by subscribing or follow me on all my social medias. Either way, you can hear from me daily. But I am so excited to talk about this line. Um, I want to just jump right into it. So if you want to hear about Dreamhouse Akuro, stay tuned. So let's jump into it. I am picking them up. It's no particular order. I don't have any favorites yet. I particularly like all six of the ones that I have. <laughs> but, you know, some I may like more because I am a gourmand lover. But I don't have a favorite. So the order that I'm giving to you is not the order in which I like them. My very first one is going to be sugaring, right? And with sugaring, it, you're going to get this warm, spicy, ambery, uh, it's like a floralness in the background, but it's, it literally smells like burnt sugar. Like how he put burnt sugar with flowers, I don't know. But he did great. He did an absolutely amazing job. The notes in it is going to be peach, vanilla, cashmere, nutmeg, brandy, uh, white tobacco. Oh God, it's so good. The white tobacco gives you this, the nutmeg and the white tobacco is gonna give you this almost spiciness in it. Uh, it is amber wood. The incense makes it smoky and lily. This one, this one is good. <laughs> and what I like about it, I know you probably really can't even see the bottle. Oh, here's a good angle. You really can't see the bottle. It's, it's, it's the artistry of these bottles, right? So I wish you could see the artwork on this one in particular, you know, it's on a dark bottle, but you're gonna get the burnt wax or melted wax on the top. And that's what holds the bottle together. It is, it's the thought that's into all of this. On top of the fragrance is great. Yeah. So this is like a boozy, spicy, fruity fragrance, sugaring. All right, and this one here is Ghost Dance. Ghost Dance is going to be for someone who's looking for that tobacco, kind of boozy tobacco fragrance, right? This one is one that I do feel can be worn. I think probably all of them can be worn by men. But this one here, I, I would love to smell on male skin. Uh, I think it smells great and it's one of the ones that I will wear. But in my opinion at this point, I think this would be gorgeous on male skin, right? So for all the guys that watch my channel, ghost dance because it has in this one here you're going to get oud and you're going to get tobacco and of course you're going to get that uh that whiskey note but the actual notes in it is blackberry musk argyle wood tobacco some spicy notes cinnamon whiskey cardamom and cacao pot and then there's a sugar note he is amazing. This line is amazing. But I would love this. I would love to smell ghost dance on a man. I'm going to have to spray it on my husband one day. So we're going to go out probably pretty soon. We, uh, I'm pretty, we're I'm probably coming up on our date night. I'm going to put this one on him. Yes. Tobacco, spicy notes, argyle wood, and cinnamon. That's what I mostly get. 
how the ghost dance. All right, and this one here is called Black Cherry Cordial. Oh my God. Oh my God. The chocolate, I'm, I'm speechless. This one here is chocolate, it is cherry, it's spicy. Okay, I got this one. Let me tell you how I got into this one. This one here came up because uh, when Lulu described this one, it was just like this beautifulness in her eyes. Like, it was just, like, amazing. So, I was like, okay, I got to get it. I got to get it. And when she said that it had cherry, it has chocolate and honey, I had to buy it. So, the notes in it is cherry, chocolate, honey, caramel, cognac, musk, vanilla, and amber. Yeah. If 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 there was one that I say you should start off with, I would tell you black cherry cordial is the one to start off with. This is to start off with. And you're gonna be just like me. You're gonna fall down the rabbit hole of a Kuro, Dream House of Kuro, and you're gonna just end up buying a whole bunch of them. There's more that I wanna get. Uh, I just felt like I had to stop at six because I want to actually love these or kind of figure out where I am with these. But there's going to be more that I'm going to buy from this line. Cherry, chocolate, honey, and cognac. That's all I can tell you. Great. Okay, so this one here is one that has a coffee note to it and a tobacco note to it, right? So I will admit, this is one out of the six that I have that I'm still trying to work my way to it because I wanted the coffee note, uh, but it's a different take on the coffee, which makes it really interesting to me. And the one that I'm talking about is Idolin. Idolin has, uh, let me see where I can go with it. It's a wine note, right? So it opens up with this wine note. And I want to say that might be what's making it uh, very interesting to me. There's a wine and then there's like a cakiness, not a, almost like a dessert note. The dessert on, uh, he said this in it is called Pina Cotta. I was, I'm not quite sure what that is. And I might need to look that up to figure it out. But it has cognac, it has cappuccino, it's cherry, it's red wine. It has the tobacco that I'm telling you about. And then there's a seeper oil. Okay, so now I know. Because normally I don't really get too deep into the notes. That seeper oil for me is a fragrance, is a note that I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. So that might be what's taking me a little bit to a turn to the left. But if you are, if you want a wine fragrance, Idolin is the one to get. If you're looking for something that's kind of coffee-like, but not that black coffee, more like a milky coffee, Idolin is the one for you to get. There is some cherry in it, but like I said, it's like a, almost like a dessert note. And that dessert note is what kind of makes it real, makes it interesting. But it's the sipper oil on the back, right? So that is what it is for me. It's, I'm, I need to kind of stay in that lane with, the, with those fragrances a little bit longer before I can say I like them or I, I dislike them. But depending on how a person blends it, and I think he did blend it very well, but that dessert is a milky coffee Italian dessert that he blended with cappuccino, and then he turned around and blended it with uh, that gorgeous wine opening to it. He put some kayak wood in it. It's based on how it was blended, it's a gorgeous fragrance. But you have to be a person who likes sipper oil because that, that note is there. That might right, this one here was highly recommended by Lulu. Highly, highly recommended. So uh, it wasn't in stock when I first started buying and then it came back in stock. So I went ahead and to get it and she was not, she has, she was not wrong. She was not, this did not disappoint. And I'm talking about bees and butterflies. Bees and butterflies is a honey scent. With this one here, you're gonna get honey, jasmine, vanilla, beeswax, peach, magnolia, honeysickle, and latterman. 
on his website, he says it is 65% feminine, 35% masculine. And I can see that. But again, I mean, if you mostly, if you don't get it for any more than the artistry. Do you see how gorgeous he did that? And the wax, the melted wax, that idea. I love when somebody is creative. This is great. But the fragrance is just as good. Bees and butterflies. If you heard about that fragrance and you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I should get it. If I shouldn't get it, get it. Because you're just going to open up with jasmine and honey. Then you're going to get this vanilla beeswax kind of note, right? The beeswax, if you've ever went to the grocery store or to a whole food store and you get the honey that has the beeswax still in it, that pure honey smell that you get from that particular bottle of honey. That's what this is. And then you get peach and magnolia. So if you like a floral scent that is uh, sweetened by honey, then that is exactly what you're going to see or think of when you think of bees and butterflies. All right. And here is the last one. Again, this is not the last one that I'm going to buy from him, but this is the last one that I had when I realized that I went from zero to six like that. I bought my first one and it was one, of, it was on a good deal. So I got my first one and then I got, I got two at the same time. Then I looked up and I got two more. Then there was a sale that he was having for the holidays. And if you were a part of uh, following him, you follow every information for him, every kind of site, or you're a part of that dream house uh, family, he threw it, He ran another sale, bought it. Then I said, wait a minute, I gotta stop. But I can tell y'all that I don't wanna stop. I wanna go back and buy some more. But this one here, if you wanna know who the person is behind this, he uses his own face <laughs> for this one. He, and every, everything, if you go to the website, you'll see him. And I'm talking about Candyman. He's on, he's literally on the, on the packaging. This is who's making it right here. So if you can see it, Candyman. This one is, this one is good. This one is good. And I'm scared I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up using this one up too fast. Candyman. It's long, long lasting. It's a long lasting fragrance. It is just gorgeous. You're gonna get to, uh, you're gonna get vanilla, benzoin. You're gonna get quince. There's a coconut, mango, amber, patchouli, a, a cocoa extract in it. Uh, tobacco is in it, but tobacco is like a, um, it's in the back end of it. This fragrance is. It's delicious. <laughs> it's candy, really. It's like candy. And it's like, if you've ever heard of the story of Candyman, where he he pull you in on his suaveness, his sexiness, his alluringness, only to be not the right person you should be with. And that's this. This fragrance is, is going to be one that's going to, people are going to talk about. People are going to want to know, what do you have on? They're going to want to come up to you and uh, and hold a conversation. It's alluring. It's sexy. It's inviting. Vanilla, benzoin, quince, coconut, and mango. I said at the beginning I don't have a favorite. I have to take that back. I think Candyman is my favorite. All right. I hope that I have introduced you to a new line. And again, I thank I thank uh, all the people that come on YouTube and Instagram, and y'all bring up these lines that are not in the mainstream, right? They're these hidden gems, and I believe that Dream House Akuro is a hidden gem. Once you get your nose on it, you're gonna do like I did, and you're gonna fall for them. If you have ever smelled Candyman. Then tell me about it. If you feel that um, blood cherry cordial should have been number one, then tell me about it. If you have uh, fell in love with bees and butterflies, like I know that Lulu has, then tell me about it. I would love to hear about it in the chat. If one of your absolute favorites was the ghost house or the... Um, Idolin. I would love to hear about it. 
I want to get this line out. I want us to talk about it. I want more people to hear about it. I know that it's not a new line. It just was new to me. So since it was new to me and I fell in love with it, I wanted to share it with you. I truly enjoy doing this with you. If there's another line that you think I should get into, tell me about that too so I can research it. Uh, we can get deeper into some other lines. I want to take this year to put together a fragrance house behind me, a fragrance land, should I say, of, of fragrances that I just can't get enough of, that I can wear for every occasion. I feel like I'm in the process of doing that. Uh, and I just want to continue to do that. So on that note, I'm going to bid you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful morning. Whenever it was that you got to watch this, all I ask is that you share it so more people can come to the channel and we can build this community up. And I'm going to say, see you in the next video.